Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Chia and today we are painting a landscape in gouache and I also wanted to talk about art block and how I've been feeling about my art lately. So for this video, I wanted to try something new and please do let me know how you guys like it and yeah, let's start! So I already taped my paper and this is so we have a nice clean edge later on and next I am mixing a blue color for the sky and just later transitioning that to an orangey yellow color and with gouache it's important that your water to paint ratio is just right that way it'll be easier to blend the colors. Now I am laying down the silhouette of trees and mountains in the background and to do this I use a dark grayish brown and later I will be adding some green to indicate the grassy part of the foreground. Now about this painting, I don't actually like to sketch landscapes so that's why I went straight in with paint and I chose this photo to paint because I wanted something simple to fill in my sketchbook like the last page and I also just wanted to practice my landscape skills because I always paint portraits and rarely do landscapes so i also kind of made it a point to paint more landscapes this year so that's why and yeah So let's talk about art block and why we have it. <laughs> so I think as artists, we all struggle with it and even if it is normal, it doesn't really make it any less frustrating. Now, while I know that creative block can come from many things, for me personally, it comes from the fear of failure and the pressure to do well. And I feel like those two just tie in so well because both are self-destructive and very paralyzing. And with that being said, I also think that art block is a manifestation of perfectionism. And perfectionism has ruined so many things for me, be it ideas that never came to fruition or projects that I never started. Which leads me to the other thing I wanted to talk about, which was how I feel about my art. Lately, I've been honestly feeling like my art was not up to par with the standards and expectations I put on myself, which led me to putting more pressure on myself, which was really bad for my well-being. And I found that I was approaching art with so much stress and overthinking that I lost sight of how I used to be so in love with the process, which is sad because I let my perfectionism get the best of me, when it should be like a liberating experience to make art and i think that ever since i started posting online about my art it got worse because i had so much on my plate and i was just overwhelmed but that's why i'm working on reintroducing art to myself in a less stressful way and just kind of playing around with paint trying to create without pressure and it has really helped me ease my stress and art block a lot so if you're struggling with it, I think you guys should try that out.
Now my advice to anyone going through an art block is to not worry, it will pass. And if you're struggling with perfectionism and feeling stressed over your art, remember that progress is better than perfect. And a friend of mine actually told me that as artists, our job is to create regardless if it's good or bad. So keep creating and keep making art because if it makes you happy, then you shouldn't let anything ruin it for you. Now going back into painting, as you can see, I am adding some highlights on the grass. Now with grass, it's important that you layer it well, that way it looks fuller and has more body and depth in it. And I do this by using a fine brush and just continuously layering some vertical lines. Now I am adding details to the tree using dark green paint with a stippling motion. Now I'm just adding the first layer of flowers with some purple paint to kind of black out their placements and I also will be doing that with the yellow paint for the yellow flowers. Now I am dotting on some more yellow and purple flowers and I make sure to place them randomly so that it looks more natural. And that is it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. And I will see you soon.